Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. John 129, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus Christ died on the cross for all your sins, but he commands you to obey his word. And John 14, 15 says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. If you love him, you will keep his commandments, folks. If you love Jesus, praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Repent and be washed by the blood of Jesus. We have to live for Jesus Christ. We have to live for Jesus Christ. We have to live for Jesus, folks. We can't live for our pleasure. We can't live for Las Vegas. We can't live for money. We can't live for Bitcoin. We can't live for Instagram. We can't live for Trump. We can't live for Biden. We can't live for weed. We can't live for Kim Kardashian. We can't live for Jordan. We can't live for Gucci. We must live for Jesus Christ. We have to have Jesus Christ in our heart. Jesus Christ will give you rest. What you need is rest for your souls. You have no rest for your souls, folks. You need rest. Jesus says, come to me all you are heavy laden. I'll give you rest for your soul. The reason why you're out here right now is because you have no rest for your soul. The Bible says there's no peace for the wicked. There is no peace for the wicked. If you're living in sin, you're not going to have rest for your soul. You're going to be forever getting drunk, forever sleeping around, forever causing trouble, forever robbing people because you don't have peace for your soul because you don't have the Prince of Peace living inside your heart. The Bible says do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by a mood of your mind. You cannot conform to this world. If people conform to this world, this is what it looks like. Las Vegas, it looks like America. Human sex trafficking, murder, prostitution. This is what happens when you conform to this world, when you justify your sin. The reason why the world's a bad place is because people love their sin. People love their wickedness. People love this stuff. You love the house naked women. You love the drunkards. This is why the world's not getting better. This is why God has sent His Son to die on the cross for all our sins. This is why the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 2.11, Let us say to be an evangelist, but we are not ignorant of His devices. You cannot be ignorant of the devil's devices. Sin City is the devil's device, people. This is one of the devil's devices. People will ask God, well, why do God send people to hell? Look how many people are coming here and going against the will of God. Look how many people are living this lifestyle. You have to be in the word of God. We're giving out free Bibles. If you want a Bible, you can grab one. But you cannot live for this world. The Bible says, do not understand being a friend of the world is an enemy against God. If you try to be a friend of this world, you're an enemy against God. Folks. It doesn't matter how many followers you have. It doesn't matter how pretty you are. It doesn't matter how rich you are. If you want to be a friend of this world, you are an enemy against Jesus Christ. God loves you. God loves all of us, but he hates workers of iniquity. He hates your sin. He loves you because he created you. You're created in the image of God, but he hates your sin. Because look what sin is doing to people. Look what sin is doing to America. Look what sin is doing to our generation. You think sin is fun. You think you're out here having a fun time. But you're destroying yourself. You're destroying your soul. You're destroying your mind. You're having these demons inside your body controlling you, people. These demons are spirits, people. They need a body. And they go inside your body. And when you let them, people, this is why you must stay away from sin. This is why you must be sanctified. Your body, soul, and spirit must be sanctified before the Lord. Because the Lord is coming back for a church without spot, without blemish, without wrinkle. Amen. Amen. The, the Lord is coming back for His people. Hallelujah. He's coming back for the children of God. Because we're not all children of God, folks. We're not all children of God. We're all creations of God. But a lot of people are children of disobedience. Because they don't obey the word of God. They don't obey the commandments of God. They don't fear God. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When you fear God, you have true wisdom, folks. But if you don't fear God, it's a trap. The devil is trapping you because even the devil fears God. The same devil that has you out here fears God. You're giving out free Bibles. If you want a Bible, you can grab one. You're giving out free Bibles. So please repent and turn to Jesus. Please repent and turn to Jesus Christ. Stop letting the devil bully you. Stop letting the devil bully you, people. Then you have suicidal thoughts, negative thoughts, saying you're not pretty enough. You're not rich enough. You're not this, you're not that. 
These are the devil talking to your ear, folks. Some of these thoughts are even your thoughts. These are demonic thoughts in your head. And you don't know what to do about it because you're not in the Word of God. The Word of God is quick and powerful. It's like an 82 edged sword. The Word of God is our sword, folks. You need your sword. You need the full armor of God on, especially in these last days. It's time to come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. You must come out of her so you don't share her plagues. There's only one way to heaven, folks. There's only one way, and his name is Jesus Christ. There's only one way to heaven, and his name is Jesus Christ, folks. John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes into the Father but by me. Jesus Christ is the door. Jesus Christ is the doorway, folks. There is no Buddha. There is no Krishna. There is no Allah. There's only Jesus Christ. There's going to be there's only one person on the throne. There's going to be one person on the throne. And you want to stand before a holy and pure God one day and give an account for the lifestyle you live. It's not a popularity contest, folks. It's not a popularity contest. That's why in the old in the old world only Noah and his family made it and thousands of people died. They're doing the same thing you're doing right now. Noah preached. Noah warned them they didn't want to listen. But they love their lifestyle more than they love God. They love their lifestyle more than they love the commandments of God. And they are all swept away. And it's gonna to happen to the same generation. If you don't wake up and come out of your sin, you're gonna be swept away with the wickedness. You're gonna be swept away with Las Vegas. You do not want to perish, people. Jesus says, repent or you will like God perish. If you do not repent from your sins, you will perish with the devil and his fallen angels, folks. Hell was not made for you. Hell was not made for you. But you will be sent there if you do not obey the word of God. If you do not submit to the word of God, you will perish with the devil and his fallen angels. In James 4, 7, it says, submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you both. You gotta submit to God. You gotta submit to God. If you're not submitting to God, you're submitting to the devil. If you're not living for Jesus Christ, you're living for the devil. You can't do both. You can't live for God and live for this world. You can't want to go to church and want to get drunk. You have to pick one, folks. You have to pick one. But you want eternal life. Do you want eternal life? You have to repent of your sins. You cannot be a friend of this world. The devil runs the world. Do you not understand? The Bible says Satan is the God of this world. Satan is the God of this world with a lowercase g. With a lowercase g. It is Satan who has you out here, folks. It is Satan who is mocking you. Satan is mocking you, folks. Satan hates you. Satan absolutely hates you. It is God that has mercy upon you. It is God that loves you more than anything in this world. But the devil is going to corrupt your mind. The devil wants your mind. Because if he can get your mind, he can get your soul. If the devil can get your mind, he can get your soul. Don't give your mind to the devil. Give no place to the devil. Give no place to the devil. Get rid of the alcohol. Get rid of the drugs. Get rid of the weed. Get rid of the pornography. Get rid of the Fortnite. We have to put our, we have to put our head in the Word of God. We gotta have our head in the Word of God. We gotta meditate on the Word day and night. We have to repent from our sins and turn to Jesus, folks. Don't get caught up 